Hey guys, how are you doing? I thought I'd just share with you a quick uh, video to show you what we're doing in terms of our advertising to bring on new chefs. So this is the ad. So fundamentally with where we're at with Plant Sumo at the moment, it really is a case of day one, we want to get a chef for these parameters, as you can see. So vegan chef needed two or three days a week. And, and if I just do a gum tree search, in fact, because this is the back end and you can see that we've already got eight applications, which is fantastic. And annoyingly, it doesn't look like edit job can't be edited apparently um, you think that they'd let you edit it to be honest with you but they don't for whatever reason because it's got my phone number I wanted to remove it because people keep calling me which is a good thing but um, I'm happy to take the applications and do it that way but what I want to do is show you also this is recruiters.gumtree if I go to gumtree now and I search because <clears throat> I want to just show you what the ad looks like and you know it's for five for, here we go Vegan chef needed two, three days a week, based near. So this was the previous search that I ran, and let's just see what comes up. Hopefully, our actual. Okay, let's do this. Sorry, let's do. Let's do. Vegan chef. And see what comes up. Hopefully, that will bring up our actual ad that we've got. Um, are we gonna have some success? So if we go Fulham, then search again. Okay, that seems to have some better success. One one advert. So okay, here we go. Plant Sumo. So just wanted to show you this ad basically, so you get a sense of uh, kind of what we're doing. So it's got my phone number and name there. Um, yeah, as I said, I kind of wish I didn't put it up there now, but it's a, it's a good problem. So job level experience, part time, posted 21 hours ago. And we've already got eight applications. We'll probably end up getting maybe 15, 20, perhaps in total. So looking for a chain chef to join. So, so, so you can, I'm not going to read this out for you, but I'll give you a second just to look at it. And uh, the way that I did this is quite interesting, actually. So I searched vegan chef jobs, okay? And then what I did was, I think I might. Is it still up? So I went to um, a couple of ads like this, to be honest with you. And then based upon that, I was able to um, copy and paste part of the ad, modify it a little bit and repost an ad. So you don't actually need to post things from scratch, okay? And as you can see, vegan jobs, vegan chef jobs near me, uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of searches for it. So people are looking for vegan vegan chef jobs and uh, it's, 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 it's a good old market and as you can see there's you know on Indeed is look evidently a good place and these are places we could of course post ads on as well and depending upon what comes out of the actual Gumtree platform then we'll see we'll see that we may may post jobs here but I'm already thinking that I'm going to show Celine my partner in this video so he can go ahead and just repost on these platforms or at least we can you know get some of the team to add Add, add stuff here in case we want to get inundated with actual um, you know applications from chefs so I probably will go ahead and get that done but hey I thought I'd share this with you because it gives you a handy insight into how we're actually um, you know bringing on or trying to interview our first chefs and as I think bah, 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 let me show so I was showing Celine um, the process, which I'll show you here, hopefully it will load, of how I think it's perhaps most effective to actually message a chef. So you can do broadcast messaging on WhatsApp. And as you can see, I'm actually showing here, Celine, what I'd recommend. You can save their name as chef as a last word, and then you can just add them all, and everyone gets a broadcast message, a little bit like a BCC. And that's a good way of actually getting <clears throat> connected with the, um, you know, sending messages out to the chefs so that they all receive a message, but you know, they don't know that the other person is receiving a message. So then Salim could maybe send a voice note and, and, and get it out to them. So that's basically where, where we're at at the moment. And, you know, um, Charlie did mention that we need to look at restaurants um, or look at um, uh, estate agents that rent commercial commercial kitchens. So I think that that's the, the, the other thing that I'm going to perhaps look into today or tomorrow because we've got our two places, but I want to see if we can get like a whole load more in this area. So I'm going to have a look at... Um, Commercial state agents, Fulham. Let's have a look at that and see what that brings up. London property, Fulham estate, commercial property to rent in Fulham. Fulham commercial properties to let. Okay, so there's some, 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 some things here that maybe I'll allocate to the team to see what we can find here, commercial properties to rent in Fulham. So it does look like, you know, there's perhaps going to be these places. I'm in, I'm in Costa at the moment and you can probably hear the grinding in the background, but 
this is where we're at on uh, Sunday. So this is the journey and trying to find a find a place as well as find a chef. Thanks so much, guys.